In this Canva tutorial, let's take a look at how to use whiteboards. So you can have a whiteboard in Canva, which is like an unlimited canvas that you can just plan on and do lots of different things. First, we can look on this home page up here at the top. What will you design today? One of the tabs here is whiteboards. And when we go there, we see a blank whiteboard and we have a few different templates we can start with. So let's just start with the blank whiteboard for right now. And that opens up this whiteboard space, which is different than the normal design space. Usually you see your design because it has an actual dimension to it. But here you can see as we zoom in, we just have little dots in a grid form that we can zoom out on as far as we want. So this whiteboard gets absolutely huge. Now on the left hand side, the first category we have is templates. So you could look through these different templates. Some of them are pro. You can try Canva Pro for free for 30 days with the link in the description. Some of them are free. But if you see something that you like, like for instance, these brand guidelines, we could click on this and it's going to show us some of these more options as well as input those brand guidelines into this whiteboard space. So you see how you can design freely within here. And now we can come through here and make our edits. And this gives us a good starting point for these brand guidelines. But this isn't what you have to do. Let's go ahead and undo that really quick. So we're back to our blank whiteboard. What you can do is go to elements and you can create on this whiteboard as you would any other design, as well as use some specific whiteboard elements. For instance, you see we have a sticky notes section. So we can drag out sticky notes resize them and add some text to them as well. So here we go, we have a sticky note down here that's got some text on it, right? And we can of course change the size of the text and do any of the different things that we would normally design with here as far as our tools and everything. So we put a sticky note out there. We also have some different uh, whiteboard graphics that we can use. So these are specific to whiteboards like this fire graphic here we could put on there. You know, people, if you're sharing this with multiple people, you know, they can say, hey, this is, they can like vote for the best idea. Like this is the best idea or like plus one, right? We like this one, uh, you know, this little idea right here. <laughs> All right, so if we go back, so those are the specific whiteboard graphics. And then of course you can use stickers, photos, you can throw a video in here. Like you can design with this, with shapes and everything in the same way that you design in a normal Canva environment. So we can bring out headings and just add in text throughout here. Um, we can also come over to our templates again and take a look at all the different templates in here and actually search for templates if you want to. So for instance, if we wanted a, a storyboard template, we can search for storyboard and we can see all these different storyboard options to, just to get us started here. So we could click on one of these and it's gonna input that storyboard whiteboard in here and so we can zoom in and out on this and we can look at all the different sticky notes so for instance here's some tips for whiteboards you can press s just to create a sticky note so i just pressed s and a sticky note appeared out here so it's that easily in the elements tab we have all the lines shapes charts and tables you can draw so there are drawing tools as well if we look in this uh, toolbar on the left we have some drawing tools here. We could pick this red marker and we could draw on here as well. So you can easily draw on your whiteboard, whoops. And then of course the shapes, you know, just some shortcut keys for lines and shapes and then some other shortcuts here. And then you can collaborate with people on this whiteboard as well. So for instance, we have this whiteboard here, kind of summarizing an experiment, etc. But you can go back to those templates and look through. You can see with these, if we go back to uh, just our elements and we can click on everything, all of these are just made up of uh, different shapes and elements that are here within Canva. You see all these different pieces move around so that you can create anything that's like this as well to create your own whiteboarding templates. But really, whiteboards are not necessarily overcomplicated. They're pretty simple. You can just put all these different elements out here and actually like whiteboard out and brainstorm out some ideas and concepts here in Canva.